When I hit a thousand followers on Instagram, I made this video. I recently just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. By the way, thank you guys so much for your support. But in honor of that, I figured that I would up the ante from the 1,000 follower video and make this crazy contraption. This can be divided into four different sub-projects. The first sub-project is the up and down hands. These were inspired by the Raise the Roof sculpture I made earlier this year, but I just wanted to supersize it. So I 3D printed some massive parts and some huge hands. And I created a base where I could put a servo motor into it. I popped all the pieces into that base, everything slid in really nicely, and then I used these huge C-clamps to secure it all. I ended up using this wrench to get the C-clamps into place. This big gear mounts directly onto the servo motor, and then the hands just pop onto the top of these arm mounts. Now we got some up and down hands. I ended up just popping this onto the top of this tripod and boom, up and down hands ready to go. The second sub project, the balloon conveyor belt. I started with a modified servo motor that runs continuously and it attaches to this mount which then clamps onto the boom of this tripod. The sprocket is attached directly to the servo motor. I printed this hub for the other sprocket. This secures to the boom the same way as the servo, and the sprocket just goes onto this post. A C-clamp holds it in place, perfect. The chain is made up of a bunch of these print-in-place chain segments. See how they come right off the printer, already connected? I used a 3D printed pin to attach multiple segments together, and then I draped that over the sprockets. Pulling the sprockets apart on the boom stand allowed me to give some tension to the chain. Time to test it out. I attach it to the servo tester, and this allows me to run the chain in either direction. Super easy. Obviously, I had to test out popping a balloon. <laughs> what a rush. The third sub project is the knife slider system. This started with some steel rods and these 3D printed brackets. A slider with some linear bearings slides onto the steel rods, and then another 3D printed bracket on this end to hold everything in place. Using a bearing and a five millimeter screw, I was able to attach a pulley onto this end, and then now I was able to secure it to the vertical post of this tripod using the same method I used for the sprockets. Now I was able to attach another continuous servo to the bottom bracket, and with this adapter that I 3D printed, I was able to attach a pulley to the servo motor. Now I just have to pull the belt tight, and that's it, good to go. The last step was to install the knife. Things are getting dangerous. And then the fourth sub-project was integrating all three of these sub-projects using an Arduino board and doing some electronics to get everything working together. All right, it's time for the first test. We got hands, we got balloon motion, we got a knife. Oh my god, it gets me every time. What can I say, balloons popping just scares the crap out of me. But everything is working, I made the final tweaks. It's ready to run, so let me demonstrate for you an incredibly over-engineered way to pop eight balloons and make a massive mess in celebration. Let's do it.
That's a seriously over-engineered way to make a huge mess. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. Because of you guys, I get to do what I do, and that means the world to me. Expect so much more of this stuff to come in the future. The ideas are only getting more and more ridiculous and more crazy, and I cannot wait to share them with you. I'll see you in the next video.